my channel. So as you can see, we are doing something so Christmassy today because it is Christmas Eve. Well, it's actually Christmas Eve tomorrow because I'm filming this today before, but anyway, who cares? It's Christmas Eve Eve to me now. Um, so obviously this is going to be something very, very festive and Christmassy. I wanted to do something really, really fun and different and quirky and just very artistic and stuff. There is a trend going about at the minute where people are doing the Christmas lights on their eyes. So I just thought that that would be a, such a really fab idea. I did do a poll on my Instagram whether to do lights or snowflakes and the lights won. <laughs> which I was so happy for. I was initially going to do both but I just stuck with the, I just stuck the lights. Yeah, love it. I'm absolutely obsessed with how this came out. So if you want to know how I got this then just stay tuned. So I think for today's tutorial I'm just going to start with my eye makeup first but I'm just going to prep my skin first with the MAC Fix Plus. Ooh. Every damn time. And please excuse the really unattractive Christmas jumper. It's like the ugliest Christmas jumper you've ever seen. But uh, I'm wearing a Guns N' Roses t-shirt underneath. I don't really think it's that festive. So we're going with the ugly Christmas jumper. <laughs> so I think I'm actually just going to start off with the NYX palette. But I'm first of all just going to apply one of the shadow shields. I haven't set my lids so the base is still tacky. But I'm just going in with this Weed Real Techniques brush just to take the excess product off my lids so that it's not too wet. With the NYX palette, I'm just going to go in with... Ooh, I think I'm just going to go with this green shade here. I'll just zoom these in so these can look at all my face demons. I swear to God, every time I stay at Kyle's house, I always come home with spots. Every time. So I'm just going to do my usual, what I usually do with bright colours in the crease. So I'm just going to keep on packing this green shade and then just blend out eventually. So it's just basically just like pack and blend, pack and blend. And I'm just going to pack it on right into that inner corner. So then taking the exact same brush that I applied that with, I'm just going to start blending those edges. So I'm just going to grab just a wee bit more of that green and just continue to actually just work by building up that colour. So I'm actually just going to go on with the Carnival palette and I'm just going to take this green shade down here at the bottom called Envy. And just on that exact same brush, I'm just going to dip in quite a bit actually <laughs> and just place that shadow just in the crease just to deepen that up a wee bit more. So then I'm just going to take a clean brush because I cleaned all my makeup brushes the other day and I'm just going to buff those edges. And so I'm just going to use this concealer to cut my crease and I'm just going to use my usual Makeup Addiction Cosmetics concealer brush. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, I am such a hairy dog. Now that is real embarrassing. <laughs> it's not really the neatest but it's just going to have to do so. Next up I'm actually just going to grab a liquid lipstick and it's in the shade Ariba and I'm actually just going to draw a winged liner with this. Okay, so I did smudge it a wee bit here and I did try to fix it and it's kind of gone a wee bit pink. <laughs> so I don't really care about that anymore. So I'm just going to go with the Red Cosmetics Glitter Primer. I'm just going to apply quite a generous amount just to the red liner. For glitter, I'm just going to use the Hidden Cosmetics Glitter and this is in the shade Regina Mills. So I just thought that this would be quite a wee bit of a nice touch just to cut the crease and just define it a wee bit more. So I'm just going to take the NYX white eyeliner and I'm just going to apply this just where I cut the crease. Ok 
Okay, so this is a wee bit awkward. <laughs> I honestly cannot remember where I left off. <laughs> so um, obviously, as you can see, I did go off camera and I did do my other eye. I did do my base makeup and I done my lips. I did use the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ariba for my lips and this is what I used for the liner. Before I actually start on the lights, I'm just gonna get the boring stuff out of the way and do my lower lash line. So I took the NYX palette again and I just went into this red shade. And I'm just going to run that just along my lower lash line. And I'm just going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to buff those edges. So I'm just going to take the White and Wild Mega Liner first and I'm actually just going to draw just a squiggly line. It obviously can be any shape you want. I ideally do want it to be different to this side so that's obviously going to make it easier. But I do just find it easier to just start in the inner corner and literally just just let your hand wander basically. That's the only way I can describe it. What I have done with this eye is I've actually let the wire of the light go in front of the white liner and behind it so it looks as if it's actually like tangled in through it. Don't know if you can see that effect. Didn't know if I was wasting my time or not, but that's what I did. <gasps> what the actual... Next up for the exciting bit. <laughs> so I'm just going to use these next Vivid Bright Liners. So again for this I do not like to take a lot of product. Um, so obviously this is where we're going to start and I'm just going to draw like a teardrop shape like, like so. This was me practicing earlier. <laughs> Such a weirdo. So just like that. Okay, so once that's done, obviously, as you can tell by the difference, them lights just look a wee bit bland, whereas these lights just look more realistic and just as if they look just more put together. So all thanks to a white liquid liner, um, and I'm just going to, all you need to do is just put literally like a dot at the corner, and it just kind of looks as if they're on. For lashes today, I'm just going to use tea lashes and these are in the style Emma. This is the completed makeup look. I just want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this video as always. And the reason I actually wanted to come on here and film today was because I just wanted to say to you guys that I wish you all a fantastic Christmas and a fantastic new year. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. They'll all be linked and listed down below as well. All the products that I use in today's video will be as well. So again, I just want to wish Every single one of you is watching this video, all my subscribers and my viewers, I just wish you all a happy Christmas and a happy new year. And you guys mean so, so much to me and I hope to see you all in my next video.